Ilara and the Magic Flower In a small village, surrounded by whispering forests and beautiful hills, there lived a young woman named Ilara. Ilara was worried as her little brother was very sick. <coughs> the village healer, who usually helped sick people, couldn't make her brother feel better, and he was getting worse each day. Ilara remembered hearing stories of a mysterious medicine man who could use dark magic to cure anything and live deep within the nearby forest. Though she was afraid of leaving her home for the first time, it was Alara's only chance to save her brother, so she walked into the old woods. The forest was dark and filled with strange noises, but Alara didn't stop. She walked and walked until she saw an old hut under the biggest tree she had ever seen. She knocked on the door and it quickly swung open, revealing the old medicine man. With one white eye that couldn't see, and wearing old clothes made from rags and leaves, he looked very scary. But the man invited her in, and Alara found out that he wasn't the scary wizard people talked about. He was just an old healer who was sent away because his ideas were different. When Alara told him about her brother being sick, the old man, named Dallas, said he could make a special drink to make him better. But he needed a special flower that only grew in a cave nearby. If Alara could bring him the flower, he would make the drink to help her brother. Alara agreed, and after a short time, she found the entrance to the cave. She lit her torch, took a deep breath to gather her courage, and slowly walked inside. Climbing over large rocks, squeezing between narrow walls, and dodging a couple of bats, Alara finally found a large cavern with sunlight shining downward from a hole high up above. There, where the sunlight touched the floor, was the special flower with petals of many different colors. Just as she reached for the flower, a loud roar broke the quiet, and a huge brown bear ran towards Alara from the darkness. Alara felt very scared, but she didn't run away. Instead, she waved her burning torch at the bear, making it slow down. She dodged its big teeth, but as the bear ran past her, it scratched her arm with one of its huge claws. She grabbed the flower and ran as fast as she could back towards the cave entrance. The bear tried to swipe at her one more time, but missed and roared loudly as Alara slid through a small rocky path that the bear couldn't fit through. A bit hurt, but proud of what she did, Alara rushed back to Dallas' hut and gave him the special flower. But instead of smiling, Alara was surprised when she saw a storm of different feelings on the medicine man's face. Looking mad, ashamed, then even a little impressed. Dallas said that he had known about the bear protecting the flower and had secretly hoped she would be too scared to get it. He thought this would let him trick her into staying with him forever. Alara felt awful after hearing this terrible plan and scolded the old man for trying to trick her. Dolis felt really bad, and since he had promised to help, he used the flower to make the special drink that would make her brother better. To say sorry, he also put a gentle cream on the scratch the bear had made on Alara's arm to make it go away faster. Alara went back to her home, and her brother got better really fast after drinking the special medicine. As for Alara, she strangely started growing taller and became the strongest and fastest person in the village. A special magic from the cream placed on her bear scratch by the old healer. Because of this, she decided to make the brown bear the new symbol of her family. It showed everyone how brave and strong she was 
just like the bear. People in the village began to look up to her, asked her to help with important things, and saw her as a leader. A few weeks went by, and Alara decided to return to the medicine man and thank him for what he did for her family. But when she reached the biggest tree in the forest, the place where Dallas's hut should have been was empty, as if it had disappeared or had never been there at all. She was about to head back when suddenly she heard a loud noise from the bushes nearby. She froze as she stared into the face of the same big brown bear that had attacked her in the cave. She got ready to fight, but this time the bear just kept staring at her. It was only then that she gasped in surprise. The bear had one white eye that couldn't see, just like the old medicine man. With a smile, Alara watched as the bear turned away and disappeared back into the trees. She whispered, thank you, and began her walk back home through the old forest, a place that didn't scare her anymore, but now seemed filled with amazing things she couldn't wait to discover. All Tales is an original channel and podcast written and produced by Leo Bloom and Prati Song, and is released bi-weekly. The All Tales opening theme was written and performed by Lito Velasco. Background music for Alara and the Magic Flower and their artists are credited in the episode's description. You can also listen to All Tales on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, you can support us on Patreon and gain access to exclusive merchandise and content. And remember to follow us on Instagram, X, TikTok, and of course, YouTube for more updates. Thank you for tuning in and being a part of our All Tales community. Until next time, keep your imagination alive.